I was uh, very ill with uh, depression and uh, social phobia, anxiety. Now I've received recovery and uh, finished uh, university and, and uh, got my job here. <laughs> My son was diagnosed with uh, schizophrenia for about 10 years ago. Then he got very sick and we went to the hospital. He became worse and worse and then I uh, learned about Hugarapl or mind power. I phoned Öyður. I just heard that he was very, very sick and, and I decided in the beginning to go home to, to her. She came to our house to talk to him. I could tell him I have seen so many things, I have seen so many people to recover, so even though you are in this situation, you can recover. And he never heard that before. That was a kind of a breakthrough for us. At the hospital, he was just told, you have to do that, you have to do this, you have to take the medicine, and he wasn't... Uh, able to decide anything about his life himself. You have to have uh, a chance to be on your own terms somehow uh, and work with your uh, inner core, your life story, not your illness story. It's about uh, uh, talking to a person or talking with a person. We work only on equal basis. We are not working like this and uh, getting to know the person and to be connected, then maybe you don't have to be hospitalized if you have a support person like this. And then he started to come here after he had learned to trust other. And that's maybe still his problem, but now he's fun functioning quite well. He is uh, working and it's going quite well. It is like a recovery center, and it's not an institution, it's closer to the society. Here we have a team of professionals and peer supporters. We have two psychologists, two occupational therapists. Here we have our yoga teacher. We have like 60 people every day here. They're coming to the center. Some are just coming for the discussion with the support person. Some people are coming for the groups, and we work with families too. And sometimes in a good situation, we are going home to help the family to decide what can we do. We do believe that people can recover, and we see that every day. two times a week, uh, the professionals and uh, the people who come here. So you have to fight for your, for your meaning in here. Mm. And it's also good in the recovery phase mm. to gain your voice back. The medical model is still so strong that you have a disease and you have to be cured. That's why we are using the medication. I'm not against medication, but uh, I think we are using too much for too long. It's also to keep the power, you know, uh, to have the, I'm the one who knows. I'm the one who uh, tells you, tell you what to do. Totally misunderstanding, I think. <laughs> it is. We are in the schools, for example. We are visiting the hospitals. We are visiting the politicians to tell them what to do. We are still fighting, <laughs> and uh, we are doing it together, professionals and people who know how, how it is to lose power and how it is to be hospitalized. It's, it's rather easy to try to influence, and, and I think we have succeeded in, in some levels, but we have a lot of things to do yet.